Hi there, welcome to my site and welcome to this video tutorial. This is the third of three video tutorials on the Paint Shop Pro Blend Modes. I guess you could call me a serial Paint Shop Pro Blend Mode video maker, right? Uh, because I've done three in a row now. Wow. Okay, so the last two are luminance and uh, color. Luminance is not going to take very long to do. And this one you're going to use, maybe not use, I don't know. When you do a an adjustment with levels or curves, especially curves, what happens is that you increase the contrast, and as you increase the contrast, you also affect the color. So these become a bit redder. This wonderful bowl of fruit will get a bit redder. So let's look at that. So I'm just going to add on a curves adjustment layer. There we go. And I'm going to take this up here. Uh, bring up the highlights, pop this down here for the shadows, and we've got this kind of little S-curve thing going on here. And you can see it's, ooh, well, they're really red now, aren't they? So if I change the blend mode here, well, yeah, I have it up so you can see it, to luminance, what it should do, and this may be very subtle, so you have to lean in close to your monitor to see it. Uh, plug your ears so you're not distracted. Uh, it should take the color back to its original, so I'm just going to tap on there. And I don't know if it did it or not. It's, it's very hard to see. So I'm back to normal. And I'm going to go here. There, I can see it in this in this uh, cherry right there. So you watch that cherry. Are you watching that cherry? Okay, this is the with the curves, and this is with it, with Luminance Legacy. So watch this one here. There, see? It's back to its normal color. Isn't that exciting? So when you do a uh, levels or curves, just put the luminance on there, and it'll fix any color problems, okay? So that's that. Now, let's get on to the other one. The other one's going to be fun, and it's going to take a bit longer. Let's close that out. No. Now, it may be hard-pressed to see what this image is, but we know what the screen blend mode does, and we can use it to our benefit. So I'm going to put on a new adjustment layer, levels, accept it, change it to screen, and that will lighten up the image. Okay, that's better, but still awfully dark. So here's another little trick you can do. Instead of going in and fiddling around with the levels, what you can do is right-click on this layer, duplicate it, and it'll duplicate that layer screen and all. And now we can go up in here, and if we want to take it back a bit, we do, with the opacity setting. So that's kind of cool, isn't it? Now the last thing we're going to do for the, uh, for the color is we're going to add a new raster layer. And this is your raster layer thing, and we can call it color. And we can change its blend mode right here to color. And there it is. So you can see there's our color raster layer and our color blend mode. So that's probably all we need this for. Now, when you're doing this, this is going to allow you to... I should, I should look at what you're doing here. Uh, this is going to allow you to colorize black and white, keeping the textures underneath without affecting them and adding the color on top. Okay? You can do the same thing with human saturation layers. This is just a different way of doing it. So I've got some colors I'm going to use. I'm going to just pause this, get the first color, and get started on this. So hang on. I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. I've got my first color, and I'm going to paint the brickwork here with this first color. So we'll just get started here. We will just get started here. Uh, won't it be nice when I get a faster computer? There she goes. This is, I've got this color. I picked it off of the original brickwork. Um, now, I didn't take a little eyedropper tool from Paint Shop Pro, go out to the building and do this. I have the original picture, and it was in color. And uh, I just used the eyedropper tool to figure out what a color it was. And then I just dialed it up in Paint Shop Pro for this one. So that's how I did the color. And let's see. Come on, let's go. I should watch those white bands up there, you know, and not paint them this color, because they're not this color. And if you make mistakes, you just uh, flip your pen over, or uh, grab the eraser tool, 
and erase away the color you don't where you don't want it to be. Okay, we're coming along nicely. I think I'm going to have to do some of this uh, on pause because it's uh, there. We go. Okay, so the building is kind of done, kind of done. Let's uh, make this a bit smaller and just get around in this area here. There we go. So there's a there's a start for this. Now I'm going to do the street, and that has a different color. And I'll show you how I get those colors. This is the color I use for the buildings. Now if I want to get a different color, I just tap there. I'm using a Wacom pen, of course. That makes things much more accurate. And when you tap there, you get this dialog. It's materials, properties, and these are the colors I want, the RGBs. Now for the street level, the color is actually 114 red, 91 green, and 75 blue. And you can see it pops it up over here. And I can move this around a bit, you know, if I want. Uh, but I'll, I'll leave it close to where I've got it. Okay, so I'm going to take this off to the side and make my brush bigger. And I'm going to pause this and I'm going to paint in the street and we'll come back and do some more. Hi, I'm back. Okay, I finished the street. You can see it's a bit different now. And I also took the liberty of adding, of doing some yellow on the lights here. Uh, because it's not really terribly exciting watching me paint these lights in. But I'm going to show you the reflection. Now the, the reflection on the street from the lights is different from the light color. And I got that off the original image as well. And so this is this is our reflection image. Have I got the, yeah, I've got everything right. And I, I got these numbers directly from the image, so that's that's kind of cool. And over here we got one. A little reflection here. Now I'm going to make my brush a ditch bigger and just give it a very light pull down here. Just just so you get a bit of uh, just a bit of reflec reflection because it was in the original image. Okay, now the other thing I want to do is just do the umbrella. That was the whole point of this was to get the umbrella a different color. Um, so now we're going to work the umbrella finally. I'm at seven and a half minutes. I got to start working the umbrella now. Um, let's see where are we going to get our color from? We're going to get it from red. Nice bright red right here. Okay, so we're going to accept that. And I think we will zoom in. There's the umbrella. Get my brush. Way too big. Press the Alt key, slide it up on my tablet. Now we go. And I'm giving it a nice hard press so I get this nice uniform color all the way. There we go. I don't even know if that other thing down there is part of the umbrella or not. But I'm going to take it that it isn't. And we've got one more thing we can do here. Our purse. Because in the original image, it's red. But her umbrella was not. And up here. And I'm going to make this small, even do the straps. And here and here. Okay, so now let's let's zoom out to full size. Hang on. Pause. Okay, so that's uh, pretty much it. I haven't got enough time to do very much more, um, only because of uh, the amount of time I have available in the video. So I forgot to do a little spot in here. I should have got it done, uh, but it didn't. So here's our black and white before the color layer. Here's after the color layer. So it's really kind of a cool technique. You can really have an awful lot of fun with this. So give it a try. Fiddle around with it. Uh, on this one here, we use three blending or two different blending modes color, screen, screen. And uh, it was fun to do it. You know, I had a lot of fun just practicing getting this done. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found something interesting in it. And uh, go ahead and blend like crazy on your uh, digital imaging projects. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Come visit my site, www.thegraphicstablet.com. Be glad to see you. Bye now.